This is hilarious and sad how uh, BitBoy Crypto has to defend his predictions. He has a video called, um, what is it called? Worst Crypto YouTuber Predictions. And it's kind of ironic because yesterday, which I got a lot of flack on, I did a video called Beware of Lies Spread by Amp Token Experts. All right, so I want you to look in the comments of that video. See how it's funny how the day afterwards, uh, BitBoy drops Worst Crypto YouTuber Predictions. Now, in the video, I compliment him, tell you guys how, you know, I, I respect him, I like him, I like what he's grown and everything. When I say the word lies, I'm not saying that they're intentionally being uh, deceitful or anything. Uh, some people really believe that their predictions are going to be real. Like I'm guilty of this in the past. That's why you don't really see me titling my stuff predictions anymore, guys, because um, you is a lot of elements and variables that go into a prediction becoming right. So look at this comment right here. It says XRP is going to four dollars is just a fact. That's not even a prediction. He says this in a video, and uh, his his um, viewers you know, let them have it. He said, this is the language that opens you up to criticism. No, it's not a fact. It's highly probable in your opinion. And that's true, guys. When we do these predictions and everything, is literally just our opinions of what we believe will happen. You know what I'm saying? So he then goes in deeper into the video. If you're new to the channel, uh, you know, do a Jet Li sidekick to the like button and you're going to miss out if you're not already sub because we have a lot of fun here. But anyway, he goes into Ethereum and Bitcoin and how a lot of people that's been watching since 2019 or 15 or whatever it is, has made a lot of money, which is true. Some of his predictions are true, right? And uh, some of mine are true, but people will love to call you out on the ones that aren't true. So guess what? A lot of people have made a lot of money with him but some of them have been wrong, okay? And like I told you guys in the AMP videos, these utility cryptocurrencies or community coins, they're gonna pump more uh, off of usage and everything versus just hype and all of that extra stuff, which is why you're not seeing it translate on the charts. Uh, so it's kind of hard to predict when something will happen when so many different parties are involved. Uh, a, a usage token isn't going to pump until you guys start using it. It's a community coin. Okay, so it says the problem with BitBoy is he gets paid to talk about coins. Notice how he's always vague about the real money makers. He's rich. He doesn't give up. You know what? He's not community driven. All he cares about is you watching his content. So his passive income keeps increasing. And yesterday in this video, I want you to go back and watch it. Beware of lies spread by M token uh, uh, experts and everything. It's not just talking about AMP. It's talking about crypto people, period. And like I said, I'm not like trying to trash anybody. A lot of people said I was hating in the video. I'm like, you crazy? I did the same thing, uh, uh, you know, months ago and everything. I'm guilty of it too. It's innocent. We believe these things will happen, but we aren't God. So we don't know for a fact. Well, he just said, you know, it's a fact. Yeah, so I can't really help him on that one. But anyway, <laughs> as far as myself, I don't know nothing for that because if you guys aren't using these tokens, they're just going to keep going up and down. Roller coaster, rocky road without the ice cream. All right, now that is something that could be, could be a fact. Let me be careful with my words. So it's a, he's a good talker, charismatic, and that's where it ends. If you want to make money in crypto, learn to trade instead of listening to his or anyone else's prediction because he can afford to lose 500K, but you can't. Woo, this person killed it, Moo. He killed it. That's exactly what I be trying to tell y'all, man. That's why I be trying to introduce y'all to other ways of making money. You can put your chump change, and this is not investment advice, like I'll just talk in the third person. I will put my chump change, my extra change, my leftovers in cryptocurrency, but I don't, I wouldn't go all out like the Winkle Brothers or, or any of these people that got mansions on the beach and all of this extra stuff. Come on, they can afford to lose just like he said, but if you got a nine to five job and you're trying to get out of it and you're looking at inspirational winning crypto stories and all of that stuff, man, don't put your whole checks up in that stuff, man. Yeah, you could get lucky. You could be the next Dogecoin millionaire overnight. You could, could, could. But I tell my students, 
Don't depend on ifs, depend on wins. I want to know when I'm going to win, if I'm going to win. And cryptocurrency is an if, okay? So if you have extra change, then the deal, you know what I'm saying? But if you don't, then listen, you can't, you can't depend on me, him, anybody. It doesn't matter how many subscribers they got. He said, does it take it personally? Goes on a 10 minute rant. When you make guaranteed predictions, you open yourself up to criticism. You know what I'm saying? And they just, you know, giving good, you know, feedback. And it's the truth. You know, he has built a great channel, but his money making videos are prediction videos. And he said, he's not going to stop doing those type of videos, but guess what? People are not going to stop saying this. You literally made tons of predictions. You said were certain that were wrong. Me, I'm never going to tell you guys anything over here. So, you know, when I first got in the game and I was excited about some of these because, you know, I, I look forward to a day that cash is out of there, man. You know what I'm saying? But I was wrong. You know, who would have known that AMP would still be a six? It was at 11, you know, uh, and when ACH came in, man, when ACH came in, it, it immediately shot up. Like I, we went live like four or five days in a row and stayed up to midnight just looking at it. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even like doing that type of stuff, but we were so hype about it because it came in and immediately shot up to like 21 cent in a 24 hour period. But this is another one that is a usage base. So we don't even know how I did that. That listing, I guess. But look at it now. Now it's Rocky Road without the ice cream, guys. So you know, my prediction by the end of the year was that this mug was going to be at 30 cent, which I am wrong, but that's before I knew the ends of everything. I was just going off the hype like everybody else at first until I realized that a token like this needs to be used for any real stability to come to it. You can't just depend on a Binance, CoinMarket, Coinbase, coin or any of these type of listings to make this permanently start going all the way up without Remy mind them. You know what I'm saying? So you can't do that, you know? So that's, I, 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 listen, this is my confessions without Usher that I'm not giving any like guaranteed predictions or anything like that. He said, it's not the predictions that bother me. So he's not pissed that the predictions are wrong. He said, it's the confidence you had when saying them. Okay, it's the fact that you claim that they were for sure. And this is why most people uh, have disclaimer in their uh, description. All of our videos are strictly personal opinions. Y'all need to start looking in the description of videos. Matter of fact, look in mine because we have other opportunities that are less risky that I can say if you plug it in the correct way will make you money. Okay. It ain't a cross your finger type thing It's real business guys. Cross your fingers. Hope marketing, hope business is not going to get you out to nine to five and it definitely ain't going to get you wealthy. So you need real verifiable uh, uh, business models that you can go after. So do that stuff that's in the description of my video, because this stuff, look, it says, Please make sure to do your own research, but we're so lazy. I like how the new Matrix movie called people sheeple, because we are. Instead of going and doing your own prediction and research and all of that, we rather log on to YouTube in the morning. No offense, I, I appreciate you guys watching, but we let other people do it for us. And then when those other people lead us astray, we blame them even though we could have did it ourselves, right? It said there are multiple strategies and not all strategies fit all people. Our videos are not financial advice. So, you know, that's a way to legally protect you. Technically, if you tell somebody to actually invest in something, that's advice. That's why I always try to talk in the third person and say what I would do. Now, if you decide to do that, that's on you after that. I'm not always gonna be right. I might, my money situation might be different from yours. My risk tolerance is definitely probably higher than most people's. Uh, I, I can take a, a loss on the chin and walk off and some people might jump off a dang on cliff if they get the same thing. So my thing is this y'all, like make your own minds up. Check this video out because it will help. You. It is not to hate on any of these crypto uh, um, you know, experts or anything like that. They, they are my peers and all of that extra stuff. We all make crypto videos. I make 
videos that have something to do with drop servicing, any type of entrepreneurship. Crypto is not the only way to make money and it definitely isn't the best way to make money. So look in the description of my videos and you'll see some of the best ways, proven ways, similar to the, uh, you know, we teach you how to use the Uber business model to start your own car rental business without owning cars. We teach you how to start your own little miniature Airbnb type business without putting properties on Airbnb, having your own Airbnb type brand without owning any properties or apartments or hotels. We teach you how to uh, uh, get paid thousands of dollars per flight. You don't even have to do a sale. All right. All different types of things. So it's real verifiable business that you could be doing and then taking a chump change and tossing it into the risky stuff that has a, a, a chance for high reward. That's how you don't go broke. That's how you don't die. Okay. Love you guys.